North Carolina week. You already knew that. I know. Uh, there won't be any shortage of discussion leading into the most anticipated rematch of the year. We aren't complaining about it one bit. As a matter of fact, we're going to get it all started. Kyle Montgomery here joined by Scott Fowler of the Charlotte Observer and the Raleigh News and Observer. And Scott, I guess the best way to start looking forward to this one, getting the juices flowing, is by taking a quick look back, huh? Well, I think so anyway, Kyle. Uh, today I'm going to give you my top five all-time comebacks oh, yeah. in this series. Can't wait for this. 233 games, the top five comebacks, mm -hmm. all right? Let's get started. Number five, I'm calling this one Fabulous Fred. A guy named Fred Lynn, way back in 1968, had only 12 points the whole season. Then he scores 16 in one game against UNC, Become, goes from obscurity to becoming a hero in one game. They win in triple overtime, 87-86. Duke fans carry their hero, Fred Lynn, halfway across campus after this one. Uh, it's 1968. Let's see. That's a little bit before my time. I, I have heard of him. <laughs> yes. Let's go to number four. In 2005, this one was in Chapel Hill and UNC won this one. It was Marvin Williams with an old-fashioned three-point play right at the end. UNC was behind by nine points, two minutes and 40 seconds to go. They come back, score the last 11. Mm -hmm. Roy Williams has said he has never heard the Smith Center as loud before or since. There's been some big games there. That's, that's something to say there. Number three, 1995. Duke wasn't very good. UNC was very good, but they ended up in a classic that is remembered mostly from Jeff Capel's 30-footer which forced them into the second overtime. Duke ultimately lost this game, but a lot of people still think they won it because of the amazing uh, quality of that shot. It was 102 to 100. Duke came back from a long way in that first overtime. Number two, you remember this one, Kyle? It was only a couple of weeks ago. Austin Rivers three point at oh, the buzzer. I, I can't recall, oh wait, yeah, that one, okay. <laughs> in this one, UNC's up 10, two and a half minutes to go. And then Duke comes whittling back, just like it happens so often in this series. Austin Rivers over Tyler Zeller at the buzzer. Ends it. Duke wins by one in Chapel Hill. You know, the funny thing is Austin Rivers said that said that, that wasn't even the biggest shot of his career after the game. <laughs> I know. Can you, can you believe that? It's number two yeah. and you're all, uh, yeah. all time. Number two five. out of 233, <laughs> which begs the question, what's number one? Yeah, what is it? I'm going back to 1974 for this one, the eight points in 17 seconds game. Uh, this was in the pre-three-point era, and that's why I give it a slight edge over the Austin Rivers uh, three-pointer, which was fantastic. Uh, UNC wins this one, uh, eight points in 17 seconds to come back and get it into overtime. Bobby Jones has a couple of huge plays, but the one everyone remembers is Walter Davis's banked two-pointer. It would be a three in this era, but two-pointer at the buzzer. One other little anecdote from that game in 1974, there was a high school basketball star named Phil Ford mm -hmm. living in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, watching it with his dad, Big Phil, mm -hmm. on the big TV inside. He got so disgusted, Phil Ford goes outside and washes the family car, <laughs> misses the entire comeback on TV. Trying to work off some of that frustration, I guess, and he missed one of the biggest games in Duke, North Carolina history. Yes. Hate to be rubbing it in. Hey. But you can't do that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We may be getting a little spoiled. Uh, all these Duke, North Carolina instant classics. Austin Rivers, obviously, uh, with the one a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if it's going to be an instant classic this weekend. I don't know if we even said it that. I high. hope so. It's, it's going to be a good one with all that's on the line. Number one seed, ACC, regular season title. I can't wait. They'll tip it off at 7 p.m. Cameron Indoor, Duke, North Carolina. For Scott Fowler, I'm Kyle McGurmy saying so long.